Hey Fragrance Junkie Gang, welcome back to the channel and if you are new, welcome. I'm so excited to be sharing this collective review of the Peter Rabbit Easter candles with you all. Now I am trying to tighten up a bit on my candle spending budget so I did not purchase the entire collection despite the super adorable packaging. I picked the top 5 fragrances out of the collection that I felt I would enjoy the most and left the remainder of the collection out of this haul and I'll briefly explain why the other candles didn't make the cut. Prior to purchasing this collection I had already purchased Sweet Carrot Cake from Bath & Body Works so I didn't feel the need to have two different versions. I have a strawberry jam in my stash so I didn't need garden strawberries and I also have a homemade cherry pie candle so I didn't feel the need to purchase Mrs. Rabbit's cherry pie. I'm not a fan of raspberry dominant fragrances so sweet raspberries was an easy pass for me. Thankfully I placed this order when Mr. McGregor's garden was available for individual sale. It ended up getting swapped out as the box exclusive with bread and milk which is also another one I wasn't interested in. Now that that's out of the way let's hop into this review starting with Sunkissed Daffodils. When I saw the name of this candle, I thought it was going to be a repackage of Drenched Daffodils from last Easter so I almost passed on it only because I purchased that candle four times and I still have two left in my stash. I absolutely love Drenched Daffodils and after looking over the notes, I decided to purchase it in case it was different and I'm so glad I didn't pass it up because it isn't a repackage of Drenched Daffodils. The difference between the two is that Drenched Daffodils is more of a fresh, slightly sweet, dewy floral and Sunkissed Daffodils is more of a sweet, fruity floral without the dewiness. As I smelled the candle over and over prior to lighting it, it reminded me of Sunshine and Daffodils from Bath & Body Works which is also a sweet, fruity, daffodil floral fragrance. If you enjoy Sunshine and Daffodils from Bath & Body Works, then you may enjoy this candle. The scent story for Sunkissed Daffodils states, Sunlit daffodils drift in a cool spring breeze for a peaceful walk through the flower garden. The scent notes are sunny daffodils, meadow grass, jasmine, and citrus. On cold, I get a pleasant floral in the background that doesn't overpower the overall fragrance. There's a sweetness at the forefront of the scent and a fruit note that I feel isn't listed that is blended with the citrus note because I don't get a dominant standout citrus scent like lemon, grapefruit, or orange. As far as the meadow grass note, I don't detect a noticeable greenery or grassy note present. Once the candle is lit, the fragrance starts to project prior to the candle being fully pulled out. I placed this candle in my bedroom on the first burn and the prettiest sweet fruity floral with a light touch of freshness, more than likely from the citrus note, filled my entire bedroom. The metal grass note remained non-existent while the floral remained in the background of the sweet fruitiness which blended together beautifully. In my opinion, this is a beautiful spring floral fragrance worth having in your stash if you enjoy florals or sweet floral fragrances. Having burned this candle in both my open and closed concept, the fragrance is very noticeable without being overpowering. I'll place the throw of this candle in the high range and rate it an 8 out of 10. The scent fills my open concept and travels to my upstairs hallway. I like to dip the wicks when it comes to this candle because the scent lingers nicely after the flames are extinguished. This candle is definitely repurchase worthy in my opinion and I highly recommend it. The fragrance is nicely done with a great strength and throw. The first time I lit this candle it was on a rainy day so it's going to be a great fragrance for those rainy spring days as well as a beautiful sunny day with the windows cracked. Next up we have Mr. McGregor's Garden. Gardens are known to be a part of the great outdoors and can consist of fresh herbs, vegetables, fruits, florals, and greenery. Some people take up gardening as a hobby and find it therapeutic and end up with a talented green thumb for growing things. For those of us who don't have much luck with plant life, we can at least experience it with this candle. On cold and while this candle is burning, I get a fresh green garden vibe so if you enjoy those kinds of fragrances then you will easily enjoy this candle. Initially when I smelled this candle on coal, it reminded me of fresh bamboo from Bath & Body Works. There was a fresh green grassy note that I picked up on, however after burning the candle it is not an exact dupe of fresh bamboo, but they are in the same scent category. The scent story for Mr. McGregor's Garden states, the restful aroma of Mr. McGregor's Garden puts the soul at ease. The scent notes are fresh cut blooms, garden greens, gentle herbs, and soft woods. Once the candle was lit, the grassy note that I got on coal faded away and while the fragrance remained fresh and green, there was a slightly herbal floral undertone that paired nicely with the fresh greenery. I'm loving how I get a little bit of everything from a garden included in this fragrance. You will without a doubt have to enjoy fresh, outdoorsy, floral, green, and herbal scents in order to appreciate this candle. While the greenery and florals combine to give off a garden spring floral scent, the fresh herbaceousness provides a relaxing zen aroma. This candle is the best of both worlds for fresh floral herbal lovers like myself. I initially tried this candle out in my open concept and most would deem it a kitchen candle however I wanted to see what vibe it would set in the bedroom as well. While this is in the same scent category as fresh bamboo it isn't nearly as intense of a fragrance. I found the strength and throw to be comfortable and non-offensive to guests. This candle can be blended or enjoyed on its own. 
For me, this candle falls into the medium range and I'll place the strength at a 6.5 out of 10 with the throw of a 7 out of 10 in both an open and closed concept. When placed in my living room, the scent filled my entire living room and traveled upstairs to my hallway. When I burned it in my bedroom, it transformed it into a zen garden and projected throughout my bedroom without being too strong. This candle is absolutely repurchase worthy. I feel it's an authentic fragrance that is true to its name. It's very well blended and has a good strength and throw for the type of fragrance that it is. If you want a fragrance that gives off a pleasant zen garden vibe that isn't overpowering, then I recommend trying this one out. The only thing is you would have to purchase the box in order to experience this candle. Next up is Pink Peonies. This is such a pretty floral blended fragrance. Peonies are a pleasant floral that are more on the sweet rosy side versus being a fresh heady floral like lilac or white florals. When I smelled this candle for the first time, it smelled like the color pink if it had a scent and the fragrance of this candle matches the pretty packaging. The scent story for Pink Peony states, Spring is here. The sweet and delicate aroma of pink peonies fills the air. This candle has notes of pink peonies, dewy melon, rose, and woods. On cold, both the peony and rose note complement each other, and while the rose note is present, it doesn't dominate the overall scent. The dewy melon note is more in the background, while the blended floral notes are at the forefront. To my nose, there is a soft, perfumey, powdery scent at the base of the fragrance, almost as if there is a soft musk note, but it doesn't turn the fragrance into a mature, perfumey scent. It's a soft, delicate, light, powdery perfuminess. Once the candle was lit, I pretty much get the same fragrance that I get on cold, which is a sweet and balanced floral blend with a light dewiness and a touch of powdery perfume. The base of musk adds a softness to the fragrance and is present just enough to where it doesn't dial down the fragrance too much. The rose note adds depth to the scent with its presence while the sweetness from the peony adds a good balance of sweet and floral. I placed this candle in both an open and closed concept and it fell in the medium range. I'll place the strength at a 6.5 out of 10 and the throw at a 7 out of 10. The fragrance is able to fill up a room and be noticeable without going nose blind to it and it isn't too strong. Being a floral lover, I find this candle to be repurchase worthy. The scent notes are nicely balanced and I'm satisfied with the strength and throw. This is not an exact dupe of Riviera Petals from Bath & Body Works, but if you like powdery florals that contain a rose note and has a similar scent profile, then you may want to try this one. In my opinion, it's a pretty and nicely blended floral fragrance. Then we have Fresh Laundry. I love my fresh and clean laundry fragrances, so when I saw this candle, I had to have it. I will say this fragrance isn't at all what I expected and the name is a little misleading. When I see the name Fresh Laundry, I think of a fresh clean soapy smell, a fresh clean linen powdery scent, laundry detergent, dryer sheets, or a floral linen blended fragrance. To my nose, this is neither of those. On cold, this scent leans more on the cashmere linen fabric softener side rather than freshly washed laundry. The scent story for Fresh Laundry states, sun-dried linens hang on a line as a warm spring breeze drifts through the air. The scent notes are fresh linens, apple blossom, jasmine, and sandalwood. When I first smelt this candle, I got a light sweet vanilla scent combined with a linen note. I didn't get much of an apple blossom, jasmine, or sandalwood note. Once the candle was lit, the same scent I got on cold was what I got while the candle was burning, which was linen and vanilla. So if you're like me and was expecting this to be a fresh clean laundry scent, then this may be a bit of a letdown. However, if you don't care for fresh clean soapy linen scents, then you may enjoy this candle. This is another one that fell in the medium range for me in both an open and closed concept. It pretty much was in the same range as Pink Peonies and Mr. McGregor's Garden. A 6.5 out of 10 in strength with a 7 out of 10 throw. This fragrance is noticeable without being overpowering. This is a nice, sweet, relaxing fragrance and while it wasn't what I was expecting, I am enjoying it so I think it's repurchase worthy. This can be burned during any time of the year and is a nice, cozy mood setter. Last but not least, we have Blueberry Jam. I like the way Goose Creek does their fruity fragrances, especially their blueberry scents. The first blueberry scented candle I purchased from Goose Creek was Blueberry Muffin from the Strawberry Shortcake Collection and I absolutely loved it. I also love the Strawberry Jam candle so when I saw a Blueberry Jam one I had to purchase it. The scent story for Blueberry Jam is sweet blueberries blend with red raspberries, caramel and sugar for a delicious homemade berry jam. At first when I saw the raspberry note I was a little hesitant but I found when Goose Creek mixes a raspberry note with another dominant fruit note I can tolerate it because usually all the added raspberry note does is add a slight tartness to the sweet fruity fragrance blend versus being a dominant raspberry forward scent. Homemade cherry pie was the candle that made me appreciate raspberry notes being an addition to my fruity candles. Blueberry Jam has notes of blueberries, raspberries, caramel, sugar, and vanilla. 
Pay no mind to the caramel note. I don't smell any caramel and the vanilla note doesn't turn the fragrance creamy. If anything, those two notes add sweetness to the fragrance. This candle is pretty much straightforward and true to its name. On cold and while the candle is burning, I get a sweet, yummy, authentic blueberry jam fragrance. I decided to light this in my open concept and the strength and throw were in the high range. I'll place the strength at an 8 out of 10 and the throw at a 9 out of 10. The fragrance starts to project prior to being fully pulled out and projects from my dining room to the upstairs level of my home without being cloying. In my opinion, this candle is repurchase worthy and I highly recommend it if you like sweet, authentic blueberry fragrances with an awesome throw. I think this collection was nicely done and I am really enjoying every candle I purchased. I feel like this collection had a little something for everybody from every scent category. The packaging is adorable and I feel every candle that I purchased is backup worthy and I enjoyed the different ranges of strength and throw of each candle as well. If you purchased any candles from this collection, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. I'm curious to see if any of you enjoyed some of these fragrances as much as me. If you happen to like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will catch you all in the next video.